How's it going YouTube? Come back to you today with another video and today guys with the brand new is going to be Tri Brigade Fire King. Now I love the Tri Brigade cards so never got to play them when they were actually coming out into the format which was really exciting honestly because I thought the art was so cool but I believe it was still like pretty roughly around COVID time and it still wasn't a time that I was playing a ton. I was playing but I didn't get like super involved in the format. But I always wanted to have potential to play these cards one day. So I did make the Trimera deck, and now I have the Tri-Brigade Fire King deck, which is a really cool budget option to the Wanted deck. Uh, but at the same time, there is an SP in my list, so definitely go ahead and change that out. Any one of my builds I ever post will always have an SP, because I feel like that card is just the most mandatory card in the game right now. Uh, so just a heads up, but this is more of a budget build without the SP. Uh, and tri -brigade cards are surprisingly very good with this too. And we'll talk about why the congruency is so good too. If you haven't already checked out my sponsors over on Imperium Duels, Dragon Shield, Gem, Cloud, RW Hobbies and Games, Grimoire, Chainlink, definitely go ahead and do so all down below in the description. And if you haven't already checked out the Patreon, definitely go ahead and do so also down in the description as well. Without further ado, let's hop right on into the video. So I really want to talk to ways that you can get to your engine. Uh, one thing that I think is really important if you are playing multiple engines in a deck is that you have to have ways that they bridge into each other. Because if you don't and there's no congruency, then there's no reason to run the other engine. So this is really important and really cool with the fact that you can actually use cards like Circle of the Fire King to go ahead and dodge things like Veilers, Imperms, what have you. Uh, because the second you use Fractal and put it in Grave, it is now a fire monster that is in your graveyard. So when you normal summon Ponyx, the Imperm, you can chain Circle and then go ahead and summon back the Fractal, which is awesome because the Fractal is immediately live because you can go ahead and banish one or two, whichever you have engraved already, right? Uh, if you already did like the full trial line, you can just summon like an Omen if you want to search. Uh, so there's a lot of different lines that you have available to you. We do play the Scareclaw link as well, the link one, because you can go ahead and banish one, summon that, and then go immediately into SP or like a Fairy Jet, which is nice because the Fairy Jet can actually summon things like the Ponyx out of your hand or like an Alvrata. So it is very cool too. Uh, Circle of the Fire King was a card that was really missed in the structure deck. I'll talk about another one too that was missed, which I think is also very good. But this card is just so reminiscent of Circle from Sword Soul as well. I highly recommend you still play this card. This card is so, so good. Another card that was forgotten from the structure deck was Fire King Avatar Kirin. This is Baby Kirin. This card's actually pretty crazy. When it's destroyed, you can foolish a fire. So you might think like, oh, the Grunix can already pop the fire beast, but this gives you the additional card in Grave if you do want to go for the early omen play to go ahead and link both off and search a Ponyx. Uh, so it is really nice to have the extra card. If you hard open it, then it can still special summon itself if a Fire King dies. Uh, so still really nice too. Uh, being able to go like your Fire King Island, pop like a Ponyx, add the Garunix, and then you can go ahead and go Garunix to dump the Kirin, Kirin to dump the Kit, Kit to dump the Nerval, Nerval to add the Karis, and then Karis can also just send anything out of your hand that's a Beast Beast Warrior Wing Beast, uh, which is another reason why these engines just work so well together. Uh, talking about a way to dodge Imperm, uh, Fire King High Avatar Kirin is just like Shavara, where if you have a Ponyx on board that you activate and your opponent activates something, you can go ahead and chain the Kirin. Uh, Kirin's also very good because when this is destroyed, you can not only reborn a Fire King without its effects negated, like Arvada, but you can also non-targeting destroy a card in the board. Uh, this is the card that I actually was really just kind of using as the Shavara and was forgetting the effect my first time using it about the destroy one when you reborn. But that card's really broken for that effect alone. Uh, very good addition to the deck. Uh, talking more so about your main combo, it's going to be more so just using things like we used to with sign up mining, pitch a card, add gazelle, and then you can special the gazelle if the card you pitch was a salamangrate. Uh, very similar here. You can go Fire King Island, pitch a Fire King, or just a fire alone. That's why I play Ash, because it is a fire. Uh, so in a really awkward spot, you can still go Fire King Island, pitch Ash, summon uh, the Garunix when you search it, and then Garunix can go ahead and pop something out of your deck to keep extending forward. Uh, Garunix is just such a crazy card. We don't play the other Garunix anymore, which is really sad because I do like that card a lot. Uh, but this card does have the attack gain equal to half the destroyed monsters attack as well. So definitely keep that in mind because it does come up quite often. Uh, you wouldn't think so, but this card does get pretty huge. Uh, so it is really nice to have that as an option. Uh, Fire King Island being such a crazy card. Being able to even just go Fire King Island pitch like a Nerval. There's even so much more value there. Uh, because later on in the turn, you can just search your Garunix. So like, let's say you have like a kit you use. 
and then your opponent uses something on the kit you can chain like circle blow up the kit bring something back summon out your extract monster on resolution use garunix now to go ahead and summon itself pitch something on a deck um one thing that i think is really important too is nibiru cooks this deck really hard if you don't get to like an arvada or what have you so one thing that i like to do with the tri brigade cards is go banish two to summon out the bear brum and at that point, I try to force an oppo play out because I have enough on board to go for oppo. So they either have to nib there and then give me my revolt or I give myself my revolt and an oppo for three or four, uh, which is also really strong because this format alone, Oppalooza is actually really crazy. So here's the deck list. Uh, I did cut down the Arvada to one. I know that's probably the first thing you're going to see, but this card's already like super hyper searchable. And plus you can also get to it really fast or reborn it. So I had to make enough room because when you're combining two different engines into one deck, it's really important to make sure it's as maximized as possible. I am playing the two circle because again, it does make the engine a lot more congruent. Uh, you can search this off of like your Ponyx as well. So you can go for a lot of different plays, especially under Droll, which is very cool. Uh, three Fire King Island instead of two, because you do want to make sure that you are able to pop your Nervals, your kits, or whatever you need to, because even if you pop like a random fire out of your hand, you can still go Grunix dump kit and get immediately to your engine. So I want to make sure I'm maximizing out on the Fire King Islands to make sure that we just see it, right? And it's also like one of the best things that you can top deck as well. Uh, one Barong, one Baby Kirin. Card's still really cool. You don't have to run this. I think that it's still really nice to have because it gives you the additional uh, Beast Engrave if you do need to go for like a quick banish to like, summon something out of your extra deck. Uh, talking more so about the side deck, I do think that it's important to have like a lot of interactions with your opponent. So I did side deck a lot of hand traps. Uh, you can definitely cut down a lot of the ratios in the main deck. Like one of the Fire King, a call by maybe even like a Talent uh, and just kind of trim down to play more hand traps if you want. I do only have six non-engine slots, but a lot of your engines just kind of push through boards, so I'm not really worried about playing like so many non-engine slots. Uh, it is important to have uh, quite a bit, but at the same time, I don't think that you need as many as people want. Uh, talking more so about the tri-engine though, I do think that it comes in handy in this deck. I know a lot of people ask me like, is this that good? I do think that it is pretty solid for the deck, uh, just because it does let you extend uh, past your plays than you usually would. Uh, because the deck itself is already pretty one-dimensional in the plays that it can do uh, with the Fire King cards. So adding a strong engine that really does complement the other engine very well, I think is really smart. Uh, DDL is still being such a crazy card in the extra deck. Uh, the free send, especially under Skill Drain, can be really helpful too. Uh, Appaloosa, again, just another really solid way to summon it. Even though you can go ahead and do it on your opponent's turn during the normal Fire King combo, uh, you can now do it on your own turn using these cards. Uh, the only thing I like about the Purifier King variant more is you can play cards like Super Poly because your extra deck not look super tight. So you kind of have to choose like what kind of power ceiling you want for your deck. I don't think the Dogmatica engine is ever worth it because that's probably the worst variant possible right now for this deck. And it's just not very good. You extend into not much and you're already locked from your extra deck the second you go for like the Maximus play. So I probably wouldn't. Uh, if you want to try something a bit more fun, a bit more combo heavy, play the tri cards. If you want to play something that's going to have a lot more non-engine room, just play it pure. I think that's fine as well. Uh, but there is a lot of warrant into playing the tri cards. Uh, at Locals yesterday, I did get nibbed every single game for the most part, but I still only lost one round, uh, which was really solid. Because again, like your extension can play so far, especially when you just put up the Bear Brum and force the Nibiru out. Then you still have the Revol and the Ponix comes back if you popped it. So a lot of very cool plays that you can still do. Uh, I do hope that this did help with your theory. Uh, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns about the deck list or other ideas, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you.